Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial. This time I decided to paint an Imperial Guard Cadian Shock Trooper. I really enjoyed painting this miniature and I hope you like it too. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos and check out my Facebook page if you would like to contact me or see what's going on with my channel. This is the result that you're going to get and we shall start. I'm going to start this tutorial by priming the miniature in white and I'm going to use Steel Legion Drap as the first base coat for the khaki uniform. Remember to thin your paint down at least one to one and start applying this uh, color into all of the cloth of the miniature. For this miniature I used the Vallejo Model Air Primer. Now that that's done, I'm going to paint the skin and for that I'm going to use Buckman's Glow and I'm going to apply it to all of the skin area. This is just base coating, I'm using a standard brush. And remember to thin down the paint, of course. Next, I'm going to use Castellan Green and this I'm going to use it to color all of the armor and gun. The paint is thinned down one to one, like the other base coats. And sorry if I mispronounce the color name. I'm not really sure how you are supposed to pronounce them. Is Castellan or Castellan? If there's any doubts, I show you the pot of paint anyway, so you can you can see it. Next, I'm going to use black. This is the model color black from Vallejo. And then I'm going to use it to color in the boots. You can use the Abaddon black, but as I've said in, in other tutorials, I like this color better because it has a really flat finish and it looks very matte, uh, not glossy like the Abaddon black. Next, I'm going to use Iron Breaker, and with this color I'm going to color in all of the metal areas, metallic areas.
once that's done I'm going to use Celestra Gray and with this color I'm going to paint all of the symbols and any particular part that you want to be white Now it's time for my favorite part which is the washes and I'm going to use Raycland Flesh Shade for the flesh. All of the skin area which is not that many, it's just the hands and the face. And then I'm going to use uh, Estonian Athonian camo shade for all of the green areas. You can also use Nuln oil if you want to have a darker shade of green. But I'm using this uh, kind of a brownish green wash for these areas. Also, I use it for the white. I didn't mind that the wash would uh, shade in the white because we white needs a shade too. It doesn't matter which one it is. It could be Agrix Air Shade, it could be Nuln Oil, or even blue if you would like to have blue shades on the white. And then I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade for all of the khaki parts. Now with this, finishing this step, we uh, conclude the first part of the tutorial. I hope you like it and please follow the link to the second part which will be uploaded here on the, as an annotation. And thank you very much for watching. Again I invite you to like my Facebook page where I post uploads of what I'm working on or maybe post messages or if you want to have a more direct contact with me you can look for me there and that's all for now thank you very much for watching like comment and subscribe and I'll see you later